Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kodaka. This is your boy Kodaka Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. I have taken a well-deserved one-week break from this game after that 54-minute battle. No, this music just gives me conniptions and PTSD. <laughs> Leave me alone. We're gonna crack on with the main story. Line. And also, before we do that, before we do all that, equipment, you're not gonna hold the sack knot. I mean, it's damn near unbreakable, right? But, it is breakable. I, I believe you can use it up to 255 times before it breaks. And, you know, unless you go on an excessive, excessive grinding session, you're not gonna break it. But knowing my luck, man, I've been through a lot. <laughs> I fought what felt like forever and a day until I got that joint. So, what we're gonna do right here, we're just gonna unequip it and work on our other stuff. I'm gonna work on his fists, primarily. Because his fists... That hurts, bitch. I did not kill Gargoyle for this. Ah, uh, magic. You can do whatever you wanna do, man. And as far as levels go, as far as prep work goes, I mean, we're, we're pretty well off, man. Good. You didn't kill him. That's good. Boom, boom, boom. This, this music has uh, stood the test of time even after that long ass battle against the gargoyle It still doesn't feel like it's getting old. I still love this song, which is a true testament to its greatness Are you gonna give me something? No? Okay, fuck it then Um, I'm not gonna heal you. I'm not gonna heal you. Fuck it You only got shot in the head Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do we have any goodies here? No. Give me that. Give me that. Something is not right. I'll bring that sack now faster than you can say sacks. <laughs> you see a scroll with a picture of a dragon. Where? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Above the dragon, it reads Hestia. Don't say that. It might sound something. If you remember correctly, that means hearth in Greek. There's a fire burning in the hearth. Okay. Ooh. No. G give me that. Give me that. Sugar shells. Always. Always. You don't even have to ask. Hmm. What do we have in here? Is it scale? You see a scale. When you step on it, it points to 45 kilos. You know that's that's nothing when you when you think about we have three characters in total inside of us right now. Pause. What's this? You found an empty bottle. <clears throat> we can. I mean, it says it right on the fucking print right there. Acid. Sulfuric acid. Uh, we could run back. What is going on here? We could run back to fill it with the acid uh, from the tank, which we definitely will. I mean, are you guys worth it? Really? Really? We're gonna do something like this. You always want to target um, the enemy that's the furthest away from you. This way, you can ensure that you're gonna get your magic off. Uh, you don't have to worry about Edward killing the chairs with his bare fists, leaving you targetless. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Oh, we got some Roman nuts and a pickaxe. Go on then. Go on. I mean, I only picked that up because I want to read the description of it. I love doing things like this. 
Let's see here. We got items, weapon. It's a fire pickaxe. Examine it. A flat-headed hammer with a pointed pick on one end. Typically used for rock climbing. Typically used for rock climbing. Can be used for either hitting or spearing an enemy. There you go. Whoa. You found Patrick's memo. Do you want to pick it up? Yes. Um, I'm gonna read that in a second. I think I see some more Roman nuts. That's not Roman nuts. But I'm gonna pick those up. Oh, great! G give it to me. Give it to me. G give it. There you go. Take them. Good. Great. Uh, let's see here. If we go to read... No, that's not read, is it? There you go. Patrick's memo. Note written by Patrick monitoring his weight over a period of several weeks. According to it, Patrick weighed more or less 70 kilos. I would mollywop his shit. I got a clean 10 kilos on him. <laughs> Probably. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't quite remember. Uh, also, you might want to memorize this. We got E-O-T-L-A. Iotla. I got it. I will never forget it, probably. Probably. Say it one more again, and I might title this episode probably. Let's see. Can we find the room? It's been locked from the other side and can't be open from here. I got it the first time, game. It said it won't budge. Now, where was that place? Where was that one place with the tank and the shits? No, that's not. Oh, well, it could be. Couldn't it? Let me out. I don't know where I am anymore. Dude. Or? I think this is it. Right, so here we are back at the underground tunnel. If I could just... There we go. Great. It's a tank filled with acid. You want to take some acid? Yes. <laughs> We got a ball of acid. Thanks, mate. Now we trek back. See you there. All right, here we are back in this room now. After we filled our little bottle with a little acid, you know what I mean? Let's go back into this room right here. And then we should have a little... You see a fireplace. There is no fire burning. Observation levels on that one. That's what you that's why you have over 60 int boy You remember the word Hestia written on the scroll Perhaps you should investigate the fireplace What the fuck was that? There's an opening beneath the fireplace containing a ladder that goes underground. Do you want to go down the ladder? Yes Oh Yes, please. Give me the panic out. And then... Oh, what the fuck was that? The door won't open. It looks like it's been designed to open using a trick mechanism of some sort. Let me guess. I guessed wrong. Did I not? So, how about... Can I please... I know, but... Fam... Like, I need... Oh, my God. All right, the hunt goes on. Where the fuck is that thing? What the hell? Is it not in here? Where the fuck is it, dude? All right, we are back. Apparently, I have to step on that. All right, I just received an item from that fight. Let's see if we can give... Um, I should give... I should give it to her. Yes. Do it! Her pie goes up to 96. But apparently we were supposed to step on this. You found a scale with a counterweight attached. By adjusting the counterweight, you can change the balance of the scale. 
70 kilo was written on Patrick's memo. Perhaps, maybe you should adjust the counterweight to that weight. All right, we were 45, so let's go ahead and add 25. And then we, I said, then we, there we go. And then we run back up here, climb back up, nip back into the other room. Oh shit, not like that. There we are. No, why did I do that? I'm so all over the place, boys. The scale is right here. Does it, though? What? What the fuck? Nani. Why am I stupid? Why am I stupid? Why am I fucking stupid, you say? Okay. I'm stupid, boys. Holy shit. Right, now that we set that to 45. Now that we set that to 25, this should be open now. Great. Oh my god. It's like this this has not been uh Oh, what's that? You found Tinderbox. Yes. Awesome. All right, sweet. Uh since we are done with that battle now, we have this little plank that we have to traverse over. There you go, Kodelka. You have to find a way to dispose of Elaine's body. Maybe you will be able to find something inside the main building. Alright, now what this means is the game is actually trying to hint us towards Roger Bacon once more. So let us go back. Real quick like. I mean, I've edited so many mistakes this episode, so I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna... We're gonna trick back together, have a nice, unedited... Segment together, you know what I mean? Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, it should be... Right here. It looks like Roger is still engaged in research. Hmm, I know it's here. I, I saw it here. I put it here. Uh, what? Uh, have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. <laughs> Research journal. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Branwyn tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But that's so frightening that Personally, if Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigre document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. <laughs> I had given up discerning the impossibility of using the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. And moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> But they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oftentimes speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them uh, puppeteers. <laughs> Exploiting the human body as an object. If so, then we Yes, the resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is impossible. 
possible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? That is a very complicated question, since it already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. Mm. It is not absolutely impossible, uh, but I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If, if we throw that into a cauldron, we will successfully destroy the roots of the Tree of Life. Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire <laughs> or water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring forth an end to this suffering. Oh. <laughs> that is some great voice acting, man. Also, we just realized that Edward's two cents really went worth shit. Now, if we go back down here... We can actually go through the door, I believe. Roger Baker, man, what a character he is. And I have to say, I played- Wait, 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 wait. We don't want to last, do we? Alright, here we go. Back through here. Gotta run down here, climb down the ladders. Let's see, now we should be able to go through here. There we go. The vestry, first floor. How about we save our game for good measure? Let's see what we got here then. Um, that's not what I told you to do, was it now? What is this? Roman nuts. Oh, you're showering me with these now. I'm not really. You see six dolls. It looks like the lower four dolls can be moved. Do you want to move the first doll? Yes. You want to move the first doll. Do you want to move the second doll? No. Third doll? No. Fourth doll? Yes. You hear something. That sounds like a lock opening from the next room. Are those boomstick shells, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Nice. Alright, so what do we have here then? Vestry, first floor. Do we have anything to the sides? Uh, quite possibly. Just run from those battles. We have stuff to do here. We don't want to expend our HP unnecessarily, if you know what I mean. Uh, so we have two doors. Let's see if we can go through this one. We can. Something's not right. Know what time it is, boys. Let's not die, okay? Uh, what was that? What was that? What the fuck was that? Oh. 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 Holy shit, I did not know you could do that. That is cool. Huh. 
and if we have Sacknock equipped. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see what we got here then. Um... That could fit in Bloodborne, to be honest, with all those eyes. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna gazer you up real quick like I mean you might like that. I don't know. But I'm gonna run towards you As a matter of fact, how's my stats looking? 136 strength. I like that Oh, that's it. I thought you were gonna go ham on it Claire Laughable. Uh, Edward Silence or whatever shall we do? Oh, well, everyone got to attack. That's nice. Everybody's just leveling the fuck up, man. I like this. What else you got for me? You got crossbow? I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Now that's done. Give me that sacred light. Alright. I think... With all the editing done on this episode, we're gonna end up with a little shorter episode, but we've still done quite a bit. There's still a bit to process, you know. We've gotten a couple of scenes, we've killed the boss, and next time we're just gonna exit uh, this room and explore to the right and see where we end up from there. Until then, this has been your boy Kalago Gaming. I'm out of here, love y'all, and deuces.